in a continuous with the bound charge densities uh, we will see here the bound charge densities of polarized dielectrics with a rigorous derivation now uh, in the uh, last video was we have uh, seen the equations of bound charge densities and surface charge densities could be obtained by a rigorous mathematical method as well okay the polarization of a medium generates the bound surface and volume charges so we begin by obtaining the expression for the potential produced at a point due to the this due to polarization p of the medium the potential due to this single dipole is given by this single dipole here r0 bar is the position vector of this point from uh, and r bar is the position vector from this o point okay and here now we have to find out the uh, potential so we can write here v r bar is equal to p bar dot r cap upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into r square now the dipole moment in volume this dv dash in terms of polarization pr dash is given by i can write in this volume volume element dv dash in terms of the polarization pr dash it is given by the P R dash into D V dash. Hence, the potential at point P due to the polarization in volume V dash is given by this formula. V R zero bar is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught into this integral of r0 bar into pr dash into dv dash upon r0 square where i can write here where this r0 bar is equal to r minus r dash this r bar minus r dash r bar minus r dash now consider here one identity that is del dash one upon r zero is this del dash one upon r zero is equal to r naught cap upon r naught square okay so this is the identity have been already proved in the uh, by in the uh, in the book of uh, introduction to electrodynamics okay so we can write here v into r naught bar is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into the volume integral of del dash 1 upon r naught into p r naught cap upon r naught square is nothing but del dash 1 upon r 0 multiply by this p r naught into r dash dv dash okay now 
we can apply here this del dash into c bar c is a constant term okay c into del dash dot a bar plus a bar dot del dash c here a dot del dash c is equal to del dash bar del dash bar dot c a bar minus c into this del dash dot a bar k okay now substituting in above that is a here we can consider here a bar is equal to p bar into r dash and c is equal to 1 upon r0 yeah so we get what we get we get v into r0 bar is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into closed volume integral of del dash p bar dot r dash upon p r dash bar upon r0 into dv dash minus here volume integral of 1 upon r0 into del bar dot p bar into r dash bar into dv dash so now here apply the gauss divergence theorem now we apply the gauss divergence theorem to the first integral therefore we can write v r0 bar is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into closed surface integral of p bar dot n cap into dA upon r0 minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 closed integral of del dash dot p bar upon r0 into dv dash so now we put this p bar dot n cap is equal to 
सिग्मा बी एंड डेल डॉट पी बार इज नथिंग बट अ रो बी सो वी पुट द सरफेस चार्ज डेन्सिटी एंड वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेन्सिटी इन अब इक्वेशन्स सो हियर वी पुट सिग्मा बी इज इक्वल टू पी बार डॉट एन कैप एंड रो बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस डेल डॉट पी बार वॉट वी गेट हियर फी इन टू आर झीरो बार इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फोर पाइप सलोन झीरो इन टू दे सरफेस इंटीग्रल ऑफ सिग्मा बी डी ए डैश अपॉन आर जीरो प्लस वन अपॉन फोर पाइप सलोन जीरो वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल ऑफ रोबी इन टू डी वी डैश अपॉन आर जीरो दिस इक्वेशन शोज दैट द पोटेंशियल एंड हेन्स द फील्ड द पोटेंशियल एंड hence the field due to a polarized due to a polarized dielectric could be considered to be obtained to be obtained as the sum of as the sum of a surface charge density what is the surface charge density Sigma b is equal to p bar dot n cap and a volume charge density. It is specified by a rho b. So it is nothing but it is a del dot p bar. Okay. This is about. the surface charge density and volume charge density this is the rigorous method now to show there is a no net charge induced in the dielectric due to the polarization here we have to show uh, there is a no net charge induced in the dielectric due to the polarization of the dielectric how we can show here so the volume charge density वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेन्सिटी ड्यू टू द पोलराइजेशन इज गिवन बाय ड्यू टू द पोलराइजेशन इज गिवन बाय माइनस डेल डॉट पी बार एंड we know the surface charge density due to the polarization is given by sigma b is equal to p bar dot n cap 
Now the total charge at density due to this polarization is the addition of these two term. So we can write the total charge density. Okay, do induced induced due to polarization it is the sum of these two volume charge density and surface charge density so we can write the total charge q is equal to the volume integral of rho b dv dash plus surface integral of sigma b into surface due to that surface where v dash is the volume bound by this surface s dash okay so substitute for rho b and sigma b from this earlier equation okay so we can write this by putting these two in this equation total charge so we so we can write minus volume integral of sorry del dot p bar into dv dash plus surface integral of p bar dot n cap into ds dash from gauss divergence theorem apply here gauss divergence theorem so i can write from gauss divergence theorem volume integral of this del dot p bar into dv dash is equal to if we convert volume to the surface integral by applying this gauss divergence theorem it becomes as this one p bar dot n cap ds dash so our earlier equation becomes as minus volume integral of p bar dot n cap into ds dash plus closed surface integral of this p bar here n cap into ds dash this gets cancelled so it is equal to zero so the total net charge induced in the dielectric due to this polarization is zero they are equal okay